It's called 1606 and 1770, A Tale of Two Discoveries. And it, it's about the, uh, the story of Willem Janssen, who first arrived in Australia in 1606. But of course, that has to be put against the view that many people hold that Captain Cook was the first person to arrive here, or the first European to arrive here. A great thing about the book is my father is an artist and he uh, painted especially for me uh, you know paintings about of my mother and we always laugh she's the most painted dutch woman in the world <laughs> because uh, so in the book there is some lovely uh, beautiful paintings but my father has also done prints of the paintings and so on the website we've been selling the prints and uh, the, the story of mum's brother dying uh, when the americans accidentally bombed namekin um, always just stayed with me and I actually wrote a very small story about it when I was doing my course and I just wanted to expand on that and then it just sort of grew. <laughs> what was wrong with some of the history that the children have been taught? Well firstly um, the history started with Dutch history often started with Dirk Hartog when you mention oh, the Dutch were here most people got a history of Dirk Hartog maybe because his name had a bit of magic to it or may, he nailed a pewter plate to Western Australia but the history started uh, 10 years before he arrived and there were quite a few ships, Dutch ships before in the north, the Arnhem, the Pera, the, um, oh no they weren't, they were in uh, 1623 but there were several landings uh, before Dirk Hartog and that's what we're focusing on. The story sort of follows um, Anna from when she's 11 till she's about 16. So at the, it stops just after the war's finished. Um, it also involves a, a Jewish girl and, um, and she, they end up hiding a Jewish girl for a while. Um, so I sort of brought a bit of that into it as well. The journey back through Russia with Mondrian has been not only a connection of finding the history of the paintings, but reconnecting with my half siblings. Uh, one brother and sister when I was in my 40s and the other brother when I was 21 but he'd not been speaking to the others for 25 years so that took another 25 years to come good. But my reconnection with my Dutchness, part of that is why I'm here as well. Little s snippets, you know, here and there and it was it, mum probably because she was, she doesn't mind me saying, oh. she had a bad time so she didn't want to talk about it and she didn't, she remembered things but when we went to Holland the first time, mm. she really had lots of flashbacks and it was very helpful for me because we could then really start to piece the story together and, and we used archives. After the bushfires had gone, it was then that I realised that nobody knew anything about the paintings and the clock mm -hmm. and I was getting older and I wanted my kids to know something about that bit of their heritage. So I was the only one who could do it and more or less forced, me, forced my hand into documenting some of that stuff and it became a passion and it became a journey for I suppose a decade, the best part of a decade. Well some years ago one of our granddaughters uh, approached me and says, Grandad, I understand that you write poetry. I said yes indeed, that's my hobby. Said, and she asked me, would you mind writing a little poem for me? She says of course, but you have to give the subject. You're looking at an historical thing that's happening you don't even realise you're part of history as you're standing through something like this. Um, but then you give it a personal flavour, which makes it easy to read and easy to imagine what was going on at that time. I thought, look, the story was really important and I thought, well, look, you know, I can do this myself. I can build my website. I can do this, do it this way. And my father's now got his own website. So, you know, we're kind of working together and we figure, look, you know, the story should be out there. It doesn't matter whether it's a book published. People can buy it on the net. And you know, it takes a, a couple and of weeks get to get it. it. Publish eventually. Anyway, yeah, you're so close to it now. Aren't yeah, you? yeah, so um, you know, the interest is good, and yeah, so it's a. I, I think it's a story worth telling. <laughs>